On in chocolate chip banana pancakes. Hi everyone and welcome to number nine farms. Today we are here in Escanaba um, unloading all of their product um, for the upcoming shows. Whew. Um, I haven't really got much done today. My granddaughter called and we started um, making jewelry first thing this morning and I told her I really needed to clean my table up um, but I still kept on making something. It's hard to clean when you your mind just starts saying, okay, I can make this, I can make that, I can make this. If, if you guys know what I'm talking about, if you've ever been a crafter or a maker of any kind, it's hard to put the stuff up because you, you want to make stuff. But um, Kobe and Bruce are unloading it and I'm just sitting in the car. I made earrings the whole way here. Um, but uh, I wanted to tell you a little story about the, um, the clothes that I had like yesterday. Um, we were at the last show of the season in December and when we got there, um, the lady that was beside me, her name was Molly, um, she was setting up and stuff and I saw that she had some clothes. Well then I walked by the, the rack and I saw that it said $5 for the dresses and $3 for the tank tops. So I, w I saw that star and moon um, dress. It's really like a dress. It's a LuLaRue actually, but it was, you know, it was used. And um, I saw that and I said, I gotta have that. And um, so I bought it and for the five bucks. And then she had a scarf too that, that matched it, but I didn't want to bring that over with the babies. Um, because the the scarf kind of had like is like made out of like some kind of fiber and it kind of sheds a little bit but it's beautiful and it's white um but that dress so that anyways that whole weekend Bruce was at another show and I was at that show and my friend Tiffany was across the way from me so like people would come up and start looking at the rack and and me and Tiffany would look at each other and then I'd see something else I liked and then after that person would leave I would go over there and I kept joking I said oh I sold a jar of jam um and uh I said Tiffany I can buy something <laughs> but anyways um at the end of the show she was stuffing some of the clothes in the bags for me because she was gonna um donate the rest of them anyway and I was like no I don't want to take nothing from anybody else and she literally was take going in the bags that I had and she was stuffing the clothes in the bags so I ended up with some beautiful skirts I ended up with tank tops all kinds of outfits and that's how I got all those clothes and I'm gonna tell you right now I was bubbly inside from it because I had all these cool new clothes even like the one I had to wear um, like right at the beginning of the challenge it was like a pink and a fur and, and mauve well Tiffany said um, I wanted that pink vest and it was like furry kind of thing really wasn't like normally was something I would want but I really liked it and um, one day Tiffany came over and she was looking through the racks and she said where's that pink vest at I said in my bag <laughs> so it was it was really fun and it, it really meant a lot to me to get some of those new clothes I mean even though they were used it's all good to me me and Dusty would stop every time we would do a Wednesday market because Dusty always went with me um, it's two hours and like 20 minutes for the one-way ride and me and Dusty would leave early enough so we could stop at the um, Goodwill on the way there because Dusty likes to always find some like vintage type clothing and um, I found a lot of little skirts and a lot of things at the thrift store this summer and me and Dusty had a good time but I just wanted to um, tell you that story uh, and how much those clothes how much fun I had with that so but um I think we're gonna cook hamburgers tonight because now that we've been over here and all this um the chicken that I took out is not even thawed nowhere clearly thawed at all so um I think Colby's gonna make us some burgers
this is my whole little setup, that same bag again. And I've been making them the whole way here. Okay, so we're finally back home and it has been quite the journey. I thought we would never get there and then- Never get back. <laughs> yes, it was so long. So anyways, tonight we're gonna do something simple because the chicken didn't th thaw out in time because- Bruce didn't bring it out of the freezer in time. Go ahead and throw that out there. I, I didn't have to say it, you did yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna have um, canned deer meat tonight um, with, with peppers and onions and garlic. And right before we left North Carolina, this is the deer that um, Colton had got. And this right, was like days before we were leaving and I had just had two back surgeries. Um, I processed the whole thing, me and Colton, and there's actually videos on it because I used uh, a couple of t processing tools that um made it nice so bruce said there's like two jars left after think, this yeah i think so i thought this was the last one so this, well, this is 11 21. um we're gonna have this rice which our friends um sharon and joel who stayed with us um this is the kind of rice that they used and i liked it a lot it yeah was sticky. it's really good um and this is only 20 dollars a bag that's a big and one. this is uh Ah, uh, the pounds covered up, but I'm pretty sure it's ten pounds. Yeah, right? it's a, yeah, it's fifteen. Fifteen. There you go. I can see the five through the bag. It's really good I mean, too. Label. So we're having that, and then those sweet potato fries, the leftover ones that we had. Did you eat I'm, leftovers? No, they're not left. How dare they? They're not. Whatever, Bruce. <laughs> we're a leftover family for yeah. sure. I know. Um, so we're going to toss those in olive oil and some salt. And I've got the oven on now for 425. I had those out on the porch. So now that's going to be it. It's going to be simple and easy. And Bruce has, what was it, Bruce? You have 48 hours left? Yeah, 48 hours left is my life as I know it. <laughs> because he goes to work Monday for the first time since 2016. And oh. he's worked with me the whole time. Yeah. And um, I'm I'm gonna miss him because. Oh, you are you. Yeah. Oh, wow, I, and tomorrow, guys. So tomorrow he's gonna have to teach me everything that I don't that I don't do. All the things. It's gonna take does. more than one day. I... No, it's not <laughs> because I I do all the animals anyway, so that'll be easy for me. I have a shirt that shows what I do. Nothing. I do nothing. <laughs> Judy knows, right? Judy knows. It, should, it won't even take five minutes to teach her what I do since I do nothing. <laughs> yeah. So it's going to be fun. I mean, it's, I don't know, but I think y'all are going to get much better videos because I won't get any interruptions. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. She. And this meal literally cost. Five minutes. Penny, we talked, you said 23 minutes for the rice, the sweet potato fries, and warming up the meat. Mm. So that was a quick one. That's what, it's nice to have things on your pantry shelf already pre-made, like the deer um, with the sausage, I mean the sausage. <laughs> Gosh, what did I do that for? <laughs> I don't know. A day in Esky then wore you out. It has, it's, I was exhausted. It's just too long of a ride. Guys, the dinner was really good and I just wanted to bring you down and show you how some of the plants are doing. This is the uh, red bell peppers. I hope you can see it. Yeah, the lights are kind of hard. Okay, here. Oh, wow. Okay, well, yeah, now we see the plants. There you go. Woohoo! She put her green thumb on them. Yeah, and the Serranos are up. I've got some of the King of the North up. And there was a bunch of them up here today. All of the Save Mar Yellow Marconis um, right in there. They're starting to come up. So, and I don't know, it's exciting. So every morning I just tap off the little um, hood and if they're, they've sprouted and they're shining, I make sure the light is on because of course they want light. And I open up the uh, top and a lot of times during the day, I will take the covers off, just stack all the covers together. That way it holds that little bit of moisture in there. And then I go ahead and put it back on at night. And that way it holds into the, the moisture. But um, I just wanted to tell you guys how much we're having fun with the, the videos. And 
Um, and that's it. There was one other thing you Yeah, I know, but okay. you got to be in the video too. Oh, how am I going to do that? Because I'm going to hold it. Oh, you're going to hold it. She's got some skills. Here. Happy birthday, Judy!